question 3a we have the surface c with this equation and we have a k in there k is an element of real numbers and the radius is 5 root 3 find the value of k so you probably start by just rearranging it as x minus 1 to be squared plus y plus 4 to be squared we've brought in a 1 in this bracket that we don't want we have a 16 in here that we don't want so we've brought in 17 so we'd have to take away 17 to balance it out so our equation becomes x minus 1 squared plus y minus plus 4 squared minus 17 plus k is equal to naught if we bring this over to the right hand side it will become equal to plus 17 minus k so what can we say about an equation written in this form for the circle the right hand side is going to be equal to r squared so we get r squared is equal to 17 minus k so r becomes the square root of 17 minus k and we're told r is 5 root 3 so we have 5 root 3 is equal to 17 minus k square root of so square root both sides we get 25 by 3 if we square both sides we're going to get 25 by 3 we're going to get 75 is equal to and it is where there would be two possible answers here we'll just take one here we'll just take the 17 minus k just to keep it simple so bringing k to the left will make it positive that will leave us with 17 minus 75 so k in this format will be equal to minus 58 and that's one value of k i'm curious as to your value 75 will be equal to minus 17 plus k so k okay, for this value will be 75 plus 17 92. Part B, we have a circle and it has a tangent and a point. So I'm just going to do a sketch, not drawn to scale, with a tangent and a point. What do we know about tangents? We know that a tangent at a point drawn to the center creates a right angle. So if we get the center, C, we have this point is 9 minus 4. Then we can get the slope of that line, so the slope of this line, and then the perpendicular slope. Get the slope of the tangent okay this should be easy the center based on the equation is going to be change the sign five minus two we don't need or uh, so we need the slope of c five minus two and we'll call this the point we're going to call it d d nine minus four so minus four y2 minus y1 so plus 2 over 9 minus 5 using the equation here is equal to minus 2 over 4 which is equal to minus 1 over 2 so the perpendicular slope is equal to 2 over 1 which is equal to 2 Part C, we have these two circles with the axes as tangents. So I'll just take the center of this one, it's easier to put it in. Well, we can take either of them. Let's take the big one first. We go out x and we go down y. But these are both radius of the circle. So we go out or, and we have a minus or will be the point here. Similarly, if it was up in this here, it would be or or, and so on. You've learned these sectors with centers and axes where they're tangents so if we have an equation actually like the last part x minus 2 to be squared i'm just making one up here plus y plus 5 to be squared equals or squared we can fill our information here because we have the point or minus or and we have or is equal to or so that's the quick way to do this one so let's have a look here we have x well i'll put the 1 minus 8 in, in a minute we have x will be minus or to be squared plus y sorry i have yet x minus r and it will be minus minus in here y plus r to be squared 
is equal to r squared and i also have the point one minus eight on this circle so we're going to get one minus r squared plus replacing x with one and y with minus eight minus eight plus r squared equals r squared looks like we're going to get a quadratic here so we're going to get one minus two r plus r squared then we have plus 64 minus 8 or twice minus 16 or plus or squared and then i'll bring this or squared to the left minus or squared equals zero these two cancel so what am i left with or squared minus 2 or minus 16 or is minus 18 or and then i have 64 and 1 is plus 65 I can see 13 and 5 straight away. 13 by 5 is 65. If you know your times tables from primary school, they do come in handy. Or minus 5 equals 0. So the radius is going to be 13 or 5, meaning the two centers. Are we asked for the two centers? The equation of each of the circles. Well, the centers are going to be 13 minus 13. And let's say the other center is D. We're going to have 5 minus five we're in this sector here positive negative so and the radius will be 13 and the radius will be five so x minus 13 squared plus y plus 13 squared equals 13 squared and x minus five squared plus y plus five squared equals five squared 25 are the equations of the two circles i hope you practice them